Please have this popcorn. When a man should be a man when he shed his first tear, when he cries his eyes out. A man should be a man, not a dog or a pig or any other animal you could possibly generalize. A man should be a man when his father comes drunk and raises his hand. A man should be a man when his daughter brings home a boy. A man should be a man when he's on the bed with the women he loves, cherishes and appreciates. A man. Ladies and gentlemen, with your eye glimpse and glance and staring and concentration, I would like to call the next speaker. Please put your hands together for... Shafak, welcome on the stage. Why we always talk about the girls? Girls education, girls freedom, girls right, women empowerment. Why we don't talk about the boys? They're also here. Why we don't talk about the men's problem and sacrifices? Why we always forget them? But today, I'll talk about them. And first of all, a warm good afternoon, my dear multi-talented teacher and ma'am. And a very good afternoon, my dear intellectual lovely fox. Thank you so much, sir, for giving me this auspicious chance that I can express my view to all. Thank you so much, you all are giving me your precious time. A man is a beautiful creation of a god who start compromising at a very tender age. He sacrifices his sister for he sacrifices his chocolate for his sister. He sacrifices his dream for just a smile on his parents' face. He spent his entire pocket money on buying gifts for the lady he just loved to see her smile. He sacrifices his full youth for his wife and children by working late at night without any complaint. He builds their future by taking loans from the bank and repaying them for the lifetime. He struggles a lot, still has to bear scolding from his mother, wife and boss. His life finally ends up only by compromising for others' happiness. If he goes out, then he's careless. If he stays at home, then he's a lazy. If he scolds children, then he's a monster. If he doesn't scold, then he's an irresponsible guy. If he stops wife from working, then he's an insecure guy. If it doesn't stop, somebody who leaves wife's earning. If he listen to mom, <coughs> then he's mama's boy. If he listen to wife, then he's a slap. Respect every male in your life. You will never know what he sacrifices for you. What sending to every male to make him smile and every woman to make her realize his worth. As a woman, when he first stepped out on the street with the ability to understand with the society just her expression and underlying tones meant, I realized. Man, being a woman is a difficult thing. Go back a few words. Man, man must have it so easy. That's what I thought. That's what I thought for the longest time with the shackles of misogyny, patriarchy, shamanism and 10 other jargons. We never really did any more to look up the meaning for, agreeing to the commonly misinformed. I always felt like a man was born with this inside entitlement to this world. Until now. Until this. Five things we hear growing up. Five things society says to men who try to grow up. One, men don't cry. Because women have a monopoly over the tears. Because emotions are just another cover of our weakness. Well, guess what? When Camus failed in fifth grade, he didn't cry. When Camus mother left him, he didn't cry. When Camus girlfriend died, he didn't cry. When Camus committed suicide, he wondered who would cry. Two, all men are dogs. They're animal looking, praying for the next target, for the next woman to lie, cheat, harass, and betray. Well, centrally, since one man, a two, a twenty lakhs man, is all it takes to define entire fucking gender. Because the loyalty, faithfulness, everything wonderful that man's best friend is, is shut under the carpet because one dog couldn't stop humping. Three, be a man said the father, who was never there. Said the alcoholic uncle, who couldn't stop staring at blouse of his neighbor daughters. Be a man, but an ideal to sit for 13 years old boy who is, who is shaving his not extensive mustache, who is experimenting with the protruding parts of his body, who is so awkward to be around members of the opposite sex, who is struggling to be a teenager in the first place. Four, real man finished last. Ah, uh, because at the end of the day, that all that matters. Your ability to stop your ability from doing its job. So hold it. Hold it tight. Masculinity is a what? Humanity is another. <clears throat> so a love, care, compassion. Maybe if you, dear society, get over what the first one means to you. 
and you will see what the next few mean to all of us. Five. Finally, man will be man. I say they should be. A man should be a man when he shed his first tear, when he cries his eyes out. A man should be a man, not a dog or a pig or any other animal you could possibly generalize. A man should be a man when his father comes drunk and raises his hand. A man should be a man when his daughter brings home a boy. A man should be a man when he's on the bed with the women he loves, cherishes and appreciates. A man should be a man. And before everything else, a man is a human too. So don't get me wrong. I'm not here to trying to change any definition. This is me trying to fix misconception, not for them, the society, but for everyone. This one is for the all young girls pretending they have no male friends because the father cannot stand the idea my daughter is safe with them and from them. And this one is for the all young boys becoming predators, forgetting they were victims first, victims of the society, not from the moment they were born. So don't get me wrong. This is not a debate about feminism or million other ism. This is about a learning years of conditioning and apathy. Instead of learning about kindness and apathy. We need to liberate our souls from what is to, to be a he or she. And see what it is to be a you and me. So this time, let's make it about humanity. Thank you. Fantastic speech. Fabulous, amazing speech, right? It was just like. <laughs> All right. When I was listening, I was even confused that am I also a speaker? <laughs> right. Great speech and great words and great mind plan, mind game, and mind the combination of the mind and the tongue. <laughs> like, you know, it's fabulous, amazing, right? It was nice. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a great topic and Shafak actually made us realize about the importance of males in our life. We always talk about the empowerment of girls, Nari Shakti, Shashatti Karar, Nari Empowerment, Nari Strengthening. But today, the girls also need to strengthen the girls. They are very weak. They are going to get their hands. They are going to get their hands. That's why we have to give attention to this. That they also need to empower the girls. Like Rohit sir, to empower the girls. Right?